uh, with Punahale Soriana against Dustin Stolpsis. And Stolpsis right now uh, is a dog, a big dog, uh, against Soriano here. So you can get plus 253 back in the American if you want to roll with the underdog. I don't think we have an official place here. Colin, let me start off with you. Should Soriano be as big a favorite as he is? Uh, the line's wrong. I mean, the line's yep. wrong. And look, Soriano should get this done, but is this a guy you're trusting <laughs> as a three to one favorite? That's insane, yeah. right? And Dustin Stoltzfus, we all know, is I've I've lost money on Dustin Stoltzfus. I've I've even had him winning and got like forty points on DraftKings. You know, playing DFS from a Dustin Stoltzfus when both these guys are low. This is a snoozer, right? This goes to the scorecards mm-hmm. uh, most likely. It's an absolute snoozer in my view. Neither one of these guys are high output. I mean, when you look at Stoltzfus, the most strikes he's ever landed in a fight was when he was submitted in the third round by, I think that's uh, Marlon Chito Vera. And look, you got to say Dustin Stoltzfus has fought better competition. Uh, yep. He landed 67 significant strikes in that fight. That's the most he's ever landed. Since then, in his last fight against Magomedov, he landed zero. He just got knocked out <laughs> It's just right away. He didn't even land a strike, not a jab, not a leg kick, nothing. He landed nothing. Then you look at Soriano, and it's even worse. The most he's landed in the UFC is 66 in a three-round loss back in 2021. Since then, 45 significant strikes landed against Maximov, 17 in a knockout win over Lungambula. And then, of course, his loss to Roman Coppola, where he's knocked out again. So both these guys really untrustworthy. It's dog or pass for me because there's no way I'm taking Soriano as a 3-1 to favorite. But for me, let this one go. If you want to make it a parlay piece and take the over, I suppose that's fine. But other than that, two untrustworthy guys that can lose to anybody in the UFC. Yeah, that's the only way I would even look at it. I have no official pick either, but I'm picking up what Kyle's putting down about the over, maybe in a parlay piece here. Matty, uh, what's the caution there for you? And again, is it like yeah. us where he just feels like he's too big a favorite, Soriano? Yeah, he's definitely too big of a favorite. Um, so it's a money line, it's dog or pass. But I think if you're going to play Soriano, I mean, by knockout is around even money. So I think maybe you could play it there. All right. The only ways that we'd get involved there certainly look to some props because neither one of us or any of us are going to be on the side there. Uh, that's for sure.